Nigeria Opposition Coalition celebrates Nigerian women on International Women's Day. On this occasion of the International Women's Day, the opposition family, led by the leader of the entire opposition family, Senator Iyachua Ayu, we should congratulate our dear women, mothers, wives, daughters, and sisters, and express our solidarity with their aspiration and global expectation. It is another opportunity to reflect on how far we have come as a people in giving our women the pride of place in our society in conformity with relevant best practices. It is an occasion to reaffirm our support for implementable affirmative action for our women and to further reemphasize our firm resolve to end all forms of gender-based violence within our powers. We therefore join all men of goodwill across the world to celebrate our immensely resourceful and industrious women while calling on all parliaments to favorably expedite work on all women-friendly views before them, to further enlarge the space for public participation of our women in the economic and social political aspects of our lives. The opposition family wishes to express our sadness over the decision of the APC-led National Assembly leadership to slap our women few days to International Women's Day celebration by rejecting bills that would have opened the political space for more women participation and laid a strong foundation for the growth of our democracy. The leader of the opposition family, Senator Iyachua, is penned by this parliamentary decision and have since commenced action towards mobilizing our lawmakers on her best to deal with the challenges posed by the rejection of the bill. The opposition is also working hard to create more participation platforms for women internally. If elected in 2023, the opposition coalition shall address the issues of women participation that led to the presentation of the pro-women political participation bills that failed. As we celebrate our women, we wish to express our sadness once again over the decision of the parliament to reject those pro-women bills and call on the National Assembly leadership to reintroduce those bills for the sake of our democracy and women's participation in democratic process.